All right, it's been a couple of weeks since our last video. Um, we're just gonna get a quick look at the plant. This has been running with final part in our DWC from Gorilla Hydroponics underneath our Spider Pharma SF1000. Uh, let's get a quick overview of this guy. Uh, I've done a quick count of the pods and we've got 22, I think. I think there's a few sneaky ones around the back as well. Um, we've got a little bit of yellowing on the top of our canopy now, which is good as far as we're concerned. It means the final part is doing its job. Uh, the plant is thinking it's coming to the end of its life and it's concentrating on growing pods and not leaves. And right down here, we have one of our little friends who is starting to ripen. Hello, my name's Ian. Welcome back to The Grow Zone. In today's video, we're gonna introduce Flash Clean into our grow. Um, after quite a lot of research into what this does, I wanna read you some of the key points. Flash Clean can be used to treat nutrient burn or lockout. It can be used to reset or refresh your system, RDWC or DWC hydroponics. It can be used as a final rinse. Again, in RDWC systems, it's good for that. And it helps final part work to its full potential. That's what we're most interested in because we have final part in our DWC right now. Uh, I'm gonna read you the description from the bottle uh, because this description is on our website, but not anywhere else. Um, Flash Clean is formulated to remove fertilizer residues that can accumulate over time in hydroponic systems, growing media, and potting soils. It is safe for use in all systems and media while plants are growing. It can also be used between crops to clean the systems from accumulated salts. Unlike any products on the market, it's not enzyme-based and uses a completely different technology. This is the most clear description of what Flash Clean is that we have found. And today we're going to introduce it into our pepper plant. What we're going to do is um, add fresh water, tap water to our existing nutrients. This is going to be a bit of a juggle, so we're going to move the plant to one side as best we can. Christian's going to hold it and I'm going to add water. Then we're going to add our Flash Clean wait for a little while and test our pH. So we'll see you there. Okay. Okay, so we sped that bit up, but now we've got uh, back to our little marker on there and we're calling that 15 liters of water. We're gonna add our flash clean uh, measured out for 15 litres. We're going to err on the side of caution. They recommend 1.5 uh, millilitres per litre to 3 for a mature plant. We're going to go for 1.5 to test it out, leave it for 24 hours. Yeah, let's chuck it in. Okay. The flush cleans in, we're going to give it five minutes there and then we're going to come in and test our pH. We've just waited for five minutes and tested our pH. It's sitting around 6.8, 6.79. We're going to leave it there. Uh, we're going to leave this for 24 hours and we'll cut to that now. Okay, so it's been 24 hours and I have a jumper on. The plant's been sat with flush clean overnight and we're back roughly the same time. We added it. We're gonna empty this container of everything. Uh, it's gonna be awkward to do, but we wanna see the roots, and I know you guys do too. So we're gonna remove our supports and our bungee strap here. We'll move the spider farmer out of the way, get the plant into a separate bucket, and do a full water change back to farmer part. Okay, so we'll get the spider farmer out of the way. I'll pull these supports off, and then we'll put you down, because I'm gonna need a hand with this, because the plant's gonna fall over otherwise. In case you didn't know, we are affiliates with uh, Epic LED Grow Light. Check out the description below for a discount code. The code's already applied on the link. Really good light. Full spectrum, SF1000.
that was really awkward, but <laughs> we, we had to spin the plant right around. We knocked over our fan and loads of other stuff. Uh, it should stay there for the duration. We're going to empty this completely and do a full water change back to the final part. Okay, here's our bucket emptied. Uh, I guess it's pretty hard to tell, but it seems like it's cleaner. We haven't scrubbed this at all, just given it a little rinse with the hose pipe. Um, yeah, flash clean helps to take the residue and accumulated salts from your containers and also help your roots, so I guess it's worked. Okay, water's in, uh, temperature's not really a factor because it's not warm enough outside. We've measured the final part for 15 litres of water. Five millilitres per litre. We did test the pH, and as you can see, 6.65. Happy with that, we're not gonna touch it. Um, and these guys are being tested by us. We just got them in. Let me know what you think. Okay, so we've done our full water change and some awkward plant moving around. Uh, we really hope this is the last time we're going to do a change to final part. As you can see, we've got one red fruit down here. Hopefully the rest will follow suit in the next week. Um, we want to say there's a new feed chart that we redesigned on our website. Go check out the links in the description. And also there's a playlist of this grow right from when it was first true leaves to now. Check it out in the description and we'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.